Now you should also know how to do order of operations on a calculator. And every calculator is a little bit different. Make sure you know how to use your calculator. Take your cal calculator out now and enter this on your calculator. 2 plus 5 times 3. Now think about this. It should do the multiplication first. 5 times 3 is 15. So this is like saying 2 plus 15, which is the same as 17. If it just does them in the order typed, it's going to do 2 plus 5, which is 7, and then multiply that by 3, which would give you an incorrect answer of 21. Okay, so pull out your calculator and see what it does. Here's mine. When I type 2 plus 5 times 3, and hit enter it tells me 17 so this calculator is performing the order of operations correctly if your calculator isn't if it's saying 21 then you need to use parentheses to tell it which one to do first most calculators have parentheses on them let me um, show you a little bit more of this one here are the parentheses keys down here left parentheses and right parentheses and you can use those to keep things from being ambiguous if you need to if you have to on your calculator you can type 2 plus parentheses 5 times 3. Most calculators though know to do the multiplication first. So let's try this. Let's try putting in with, uh, with the parentheses 2 plus 5 times 3. And that, as we said earlier, should give us 21. The 2 plus 5 is a 7. When we multiply that by 3, we get 21. Let's look at another example. 6 times 8 minus 2. And we're going to put the 8 minus 2 in parentheses. 6 times 8 minus 2 in parentheses. So it should take the 8 minus 2 and do it first, which would be 6, and 6 times 6. This should say 36. I'll hit enter, and there we have it, 36. A couple more examples, and you can write the results into your, into your notes. 8 plus 4 squared. Uh, 8 plus... 4, and let me show you how to do the squared. Um, on this calculator, there's a key here that says x squared. And if I hit that, watch what happens. I just punch that, and there's a little squared, and it draws it in the superscript position there, smaller and up a little higher, 8 plus 4 squared. And the calculator knows to do exponents first. So it's going to evaluate the 4 squared before it adds, adds that to 8. So 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. So this will be telling us, or this will be giving us 8 plus 16, which is 24. And sure enough, we get 24. I'll show you another way to type in the squared. Um, this little key right here, this little up arrow, or sometimes called the caret, that, um, and it might sit in a different place on your calculator if you have a different model calculator. But that is typically used to mean exponent. If I use that key and I type 8 plus 4 to the power of 2, that means the same thing. That means to the power of 2. So this is the exact same thing. This should also give us an answer of 24. And there it is. If we put in parentheses and we say in parentheses 8 plus 4, and that is squared, then that should give me uh, 8 plus 4, which is 12, and then it will square the 12, which means 12 times 12. And there we have it, 144. And again, I could have written it like this, 8 plus 4 to the power of 2. Same thing, 144.